Oh, check it out, guys. It's Wednesday over here at Panera. It's about 11.40. Uh, Jack and Kenan just left, headed back to school. And uh, I'm just finishing up my smoothie here. What a freaking perfect day, though. It's like 75 degrees now at 11.30, 11 11.40. Um, on the way into school this morning, it was 68. At 8.30 in the morning, it's perfect. Yesterday was supposed to be sunny, and it rained and was cloudy. Today was supposed to be rainy and cloudy, and it's sunny, so I'll take it. It's a perfect day. We got the, the windows open here, and I don't even care about leaving that on the car because it is just filthy. I mean, look at the bugs up here. What the hell? It looks like I was going 115 miles an hour. Ew. Oh, check it out. A perfect 77 degrees in sun. Oh, I'm in heaven. May 2nd, 2012. It is like June weather. Just gorgeous. I'm gonna go home, get some work done, hopefully be able to spend some time outside. And I've only got one class this afternoon and all I have to do is glue balsa wood together. So, that sounds good to me. It's 12.40, I'm home now. Kind of just doing some stuff here around the house. And uh, I mentioned before I needed to bring out that umbrella stand, so I'm gonna do that. It's it's hot. I've been out there sitting on the porch in the back for a while. I don't know. Oh God, there's so much crap down here. There it is, behind my suitcase. Uh, this thing's like 50 pounds, so I'll talk to you outside. Actually, it's not that bad if I just hold it with one hand. So anyways, it's 81 degrees outside right now, and partly cloudy. Turn some lights off. And the humidity is 81%, which is a lot. So it feels like more than 80, which is great. It feels like summer. But all this hot weather and the rain we've had has made all the yards grow. So now, as I bend down to open the door here, I've got like four yards to mow, or three yards to mow, and it's supposed to rain every day, which is gonna make this a pain in the ass. Done, one less thing to do. I would bring up the chaise lounge now and lay out here for a while and soak up the sun, but I can't carry that up myself. Not that it's heavy, it's just bulky, and the, the back part that moves uh, slides all over the place, and I can't really fix it in place. You know what? No excuses. I'm gonna give it a shot. We'll see how far I get. I'll duct tape it closed. All right, we're back, and I'm gonna go kill the last class today. All right, boys, it's uh, 3.25 and 19 seconds. We just picked up our pool passes here, and we're just taking a look around the grounds. It's got a ways to go. As you can see, we need more water than what's in there. Some of the, some of the umbrellas have had their whole programs cocked over here with the wind we had a couple weekends ago. But it looks good. They got some nice paint down, and now it's just a matter of pumping that shit out and putting some better water in. Amen. On the way home, unfortunately, to cut grass, which is going to be terrible. Look at this. It is 89 degrees right now. Sunny, 2.64. Humidity, 80%. Ugh. It is going to be miserable. At least I'll get my money's. All right, guys, it's about 8.30, and it's finally down to 75 degrees now. And, uh, wow. I did two yards. I started off, I did that one, full trim, mow, clean up with the blower. It was bad. I had to come back for, like, two water breaks. And then I did this one afterwards because I figured I hadn't killed myself enough. So it looks really nice. And it's done for a week now, and, and mine really needs to be done. You can see all the crap that's fallen off the trees. Um, but I'm, I think I'm going to try to do that one tomorrow if it doesn't rain. You can see the shutters are still off the house. They haven't started painting yet. Uh, so I'll do that tomorrow. It's going to be even hotter tomorrow, so that's going to suck because that's a big one. That's over an acre of grass in the backyard, too. And then mine will get done whenever. It's not that critical. But uh, I didn't have time for any mulching today, so... I, my legs are just shot. I'm tired. I need to lay down again. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night, so I'm just going to go in right now. There's a lot of YouTube videos I missed yesterday. I'm going to catch up on those. we got a beautiful moon up there. Nice day here today, uh, but a lot of work and a lot of accomplishment, and uh, I guess that pays off. So uh, I'm going to go in and take care of that, and I'll talk to you later. Uh, does anybody know who that is? I doubt any of you do. Hey guys, I forgot to film it pre-facto, but I uh, I did actually get that chase lounge out here myself. And you're never going to be able to see, because we only have one light on and it's about 11.50 at night. But uh, it's out, 
and it was not easy bringing it up myself. Again, not that it's heavy, it's just big and bulky and it's a pain in the ass to bring up. So, got that work done today in the two yards and then I took a shower and had dinner. And I've been doing YouTube videos and YouTube stuff since. What is up with the um, YouTube Watch Later playlist? It doesn't work at all. You click the plus on the videos, and it just says no videos on the playlist. And it's completely screwed up. Two browsers. Tried resetting it. I think it's YouTube. So that means I've been opening every video that comes in because, you know, it only goes back like two or three days and when you go down to the bottom and click load more videos. So I don't want to miss anything, so I keep opening everything in new tabs. So I got like 45 tabs open this afternoon from some stuff I missed last night and stuff from today, and I've been working on that, and I'm down to like five, which I'm going to go upstairs and go to bed and watch those. Um, so I'm outside right now. It's about 72 degrees at almost midnight, which is beautiful. Listen to the frogs and the, the peepers and all the amphibians out there. And I'm going to walk over here, and there's going to be less light. Um, but I'm just going to end this up, end this, end this up. I'm going to finish this up here and run inside and edit this. And I'm not nearly as tired now as I expected I'd be after all that work. I guess sitting on a couch for a couple hours and doing some videos and a bunch of emails and stuff like that made that go by quickly. But I got a new user on the E39 Source channel today. Thank you. It's a 2000 uh, Jet Black M5. Really nice car. He's got some laser jammers on it. He's going to do a couple things inside with uh, radar detectors, and I think he had the Dice Media Bridge, and he said it was an MK2 computer, but the interface sure looks like an MK3 to me. Um, maybe he put better software on it, I don't know. Um, so that'll go up in a couple days once I film the clips and work on getting the video file from YouTube and, and crap like that. So it's beautiful. I wish I could sleep outside, except the... It's disconcerting. When I have all these windows open out here on the porch, and I have the Mac out there, I was listening to some music. Um, and you hear deer, or I don't know what they are, something just walks by. It sounds like people around there. The amount of sticks, whatever it is, is heavy. And it's disconcerting because you can't see it. And I'm not really afraid of anything back there. I mean, what is there? Deer um, and a bunch of little animals and, and rabbits, I guess, and, and crap like that. But it's just weird because you don't know what it is. Uh, the funny thing, well, the scary thing is, though, there's, um, what are they? They're not, I guess there's foxes, too. What are the the dogs? Let me think about this for a minute. Coyotes. I don't know why I couldn't come up with that. There's coyotes back there. And sometimes when I'm in bed, my room faces south. It's in the back window towards the woods. And you can just hear them. They found something back there. They're fighting. They're playing. Whatever. And you know the sound coyotes make. It is a bone-chilling uh, screech. I don't know what you call it. but And that... That, that just stops you straight in your tracks and you know what it is and you know they're not even going to come in your yard let alone up to your patio and stuff like that but uh, that's the only thing that is like it's blood curdling if you've ever heard coyotes um, they just yip and they're, they're like little prairie dogs I guess but I don't know that's what you get living in Ohio We've got a beautiful full moon up there a couple clouds rolling by I can see some stars it's gorgeous out here but I'm going to go in and finish this up and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow Thursday already oh my god this week's flying by so Thursday we'll get that done we're going to be outside in the afternoon uh, for one class I know and uh, maybe I'll pull the camera out and go I think we're going to go look for some animals or something outside I don't know ecology it's it's, it's ecology so maybe I'll film that maybe not and I'll talk to you tomorrow thanks for watching 507 talk to you in 508 good night